And we're back! Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. And I am Brian. We are back in the kitchen. Yes, we are back from our trip and uh, we had a fantastic time. Thank you very much to everyone who gave us suggestions for things that we could do or should yes. do. We did do some of them, I promise, but it was a long list and I promise that uh, we will be getting to those hopefully the next time that we go out west. No, east. east. Go out east, <laughs> sorry. Uh, you know, is what it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but next time we go out east, I promise we will do some more uh, of those things that you guys suggested. I really, really want to go back to Pittsburgh, though, because yes. that city looked amazing and we did not get a chance to explore it. So, uh, yeah, I'm we're definitely going back on another eastern road trip in yes. the future. It was absolutely beautiful. It was the perfect time of year. The trees are just starting to change. and. It was just really nice being, just driving that much. I mean, he drove the entire time. I think I drove for 30 seconds in one gas station parking lot. That you did. But anyway, it was just really fun to get away and to not be like, we had a schedule, but it wasn't like super crazy packed all the time. So yeah. Yeah. But uh, once again, thank you to everyone who commented and gave us suggestions. We really do appreciate it. Yes, so here's the big question, and a lot of you asked about this on the previous video we posted saying that we were going on vacation, asking us how we stick to our lifestyle, diet, etc., while we are traveling. So the big question is, did we stick to our diet while we were traveling? Hey, Jessica. Yes? Did we stick to our diet when we were traveling? <laughs> well, yes and no. Yeah. So, okay, basically, the only time that we really ever stray from our normal whole food plant-based diet is either like a holiday, special occasion, or sometimes when we're traveling. But my goal is to get it to the point where when we travel, we are as compliant as we possibly can be. But at the same time, not like limiting ourselves to trying new things and all that kind of stuff. So there's a really delicate balance between that. And so my goal when we planned this trip was to be more compliant than we've been in some of our past travels. If you guys watched our weigh-in video, you know that there was that little blip in December. We went to Louisville and yeah. we basically abandoned all of our diet for that too trip. Much, too much good food. But yeah, so my goal is like, I don't, I don't feel good about it when we do that physically or mentally. And so I don't, I want these trips to be, I want us to be able to travel and have fun and enjoy, but stick to our normal lifestyle as much as possible. And so we tried to do that this time. We, um, you know, we, I've done trips. It's, it's weird because it's easier for me to stick to being as close to 100% compliant as possible when I'm not traveling with Brian, which is counterintuitive to our approach of doing everything together. That's true. But if you think about it, it's doing everything together. Also, when we do bad things, like we do bad things yeah. together. So it's, it's like, like it's like if I'm not with you, then I feel like I'm, you know, cheating you on whatever experience and I yeah. want to stick to as 100% as I can. So I, when I'm at home, you know, taking care of the dogs and stuff while you're away, well, I'm I, traveling I will, with my mother. you know, I will stick <laughs> compliant because you know the rules that we follow yeah. and that is no bad food in the house. Yeah. And, and so since I know he's at home following the rules, um, when I'm off traveling without him, I try to stick to it 100%. And so I actually did two trips this year. And on both of those trips, I was with my mom and I was like pretty much 100% on most of the time. Um, as far as like as close to whole food plant-based as I could be. And I got really creative and, you know, took things with me and, and really planned and, you know, in advance and also you know, came up with some ideas while I was on the road. So we thought it would be fun during this trip to film a bunch of tips that I have learned from doing those trips and mm -hmm. being able to stick to our diet. 
on those trips. And so we filmed a bunch of tips. So that helped us, I think, stay a little bit more on track oh, on yeah, this trip. Oh yeah, easily. Because we at least were like seeking out things to show you guys as far as, um, you know, how you can stay on while you're traveling. Yep. You know, we're not gonna sit here and say, yes, we stuck to our diet. Yeah. Like, we, we really want to press the issue that we are not perfect. Yeah. You know, we 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 do things that aren't like, yeah. you know, within what we, we set out to do, you know, but we... We fail. We, <laughs> we do fail occasionally. But we tried, we really had like high hopes this time to stick on like most of the time. And I'd say it ended up being like a 50-50 type thing. Yeah. But uh, to quote uh, a, the favorite son of Philadelphia, Rocky Balboa, <laughs> you know, it's not how hard you can hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep on going. <laughs> so occasionally yeah, I know. we get hit, <laughs> but yeah. we keep on going. Yeah. And it's, it's like we said, we have rules that we follow and uh and you know we we try to balance everything out so that way we're not just like going whole hog into yeah into the bad bad stuff and but i think like that. i think over time like we've definitely done better yeah you know and we'll continue to get better it's especially it, with suggestions from you guys yeah you guys, <laughs> you guys actually made a whole bunch of really good suggestions for different things you can do like there it, it is like like we said it's totally possible to follow a hundred percent is, you know, I mean, I guess not 100, 100%, but very close to 100% mm -hmm. while traveling. And, you know, you just have to stick to your plan and really like have the will to do it. Yeah. Um, but it, it's also easy if you get off for like one meal, then you're like, well, I've already messed this up. Then you get it, you know. Yeah, you don't want to get into that cycle. But I will say when we would, we would go back and, and have like a giant salad on the trip and stuff like that. I felt so much better just getting those nutrients in me and like feeling so much better. Yeah. So we could, we we actually have discussed this a lot and we were like, well, we could just show them the tips that we've filmed and like all the good food that we filmed and then just be like, yeah, we were, yeah, well, we, really, <laughs> we were on. We really but wanted we, to be honest we're because- not, We're we, not good at lying. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really bad at it and not to mention, <laughs> Uh, we, it's not real life. Yeah, it's like, not who we are, you yeah. know, and we, we don't want to, to show us as anything other than what we honestly are, yeah. which is normal human beings uh, who, who <laughs> are flawed in, in what they do. Yeah. But the tips video is definitely coming up. Yes. We will have a couple of other videos as well, just sort of travel vlogs mm -hmm. that we put together. Uh, I've got some awesome footage that I'm looking to show you guys. Uh, but this this trip was was absolutely phenomenal, and uh, I am really really looking forward to going on another road trip like this again. He's in gonna the have future. so much fun going through all the footage. He has no idea how many little clips I took that oh, he's I, gonna. Find. I discovered after I transferred them onto my computer. <laughs> there's so many little clips because we'd be driving and it's like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I yes. have to film this. Oh, like, there's tons of there's several minutes of driving footage that's just like you know, yeah. oh here's mountains and. But all I that. think we did a good job of balancing like staying off of our phones and social media. Yeah. Well, I even, couldn't be on my phone. I even, was driving. Yeah, he was driving. Even though we were filming a lot of stuff, it wasn't like super intrusive, if that makes any sense. Like, also, I it mean, was it's, just, it was fun. Yeah, it's a lot easier also to, uh, you know, just record stuff and yeah. get footage than it is to, you know, be constantly on social media yeah. and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was reading the comments and stuff when I would we would get to a hotel and... Uh, and all of that, and and I just thought that was um, phenomenal. But so the other thing that happened while we were gone is we hit thirty thousand subscribers, <laughs> and that is honestly all thanks to you guys. Uh, it blows our mind it's that insane. that we never are we we never thought that we would get to this no. kind of a level ever. No. Like. I mean, like we we were when we first started, we're like, hey, maybe we can hit like a thousand by the end of the year or something. And it's like, and you guys just you keep sharing the stuff out there, yeah. you keep liking these videos, and you keep watching stuff. And I I've spoken with several people online who, uh, you guys have watched our videos multiple times. Yeah, we're like uh, even starting back in the beginning and then watching yeah. them back through again. Like that's just crazy to us. Yeah, uh, we really I mean, keep doing it, it. obviously. Yeah. We but. really appreciate it, and it's just like 
it, I don't know. It's just, it's just like you said, it blows our mind. Like yes. that you guys are, you guys keep following us and commenting and all that stuff. So. Yeah, it's it's really interesting to us that that people like us <laughs> <laughs> because we say it all the time. Like we think we're fairly boring. Uh, like, and we we're just two goofy people trying to lose weight. Yeah. You know, it's that I know I say that line a lot, but it's the truth. It's the truth. We're just two goofy people who live in St. Louis. Just trying to lose weight yeah, yeah. that should be the tagline of our entire uh crocs in the kitchen <laughs> website and everything two goofy people trying to lose weight yes but thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed and who watches our videos you guys are awesome and we love you and we truly truly do appreciate the time that you guys have put into watching our content it's yes. it's amazing. Thank and you very we hope, much. We hope that you enjoy the travel videos. They're going to be a little bit different than what you're used to on our channel, but yeah. um, we are really excited to show you what we did when we traveled. And yeah. But I think that's all I got. That's all I got. And Ollie is about to go super crazy over yes, there. Yes, he is. He's in the hallway, like. Wind. He's like he's like fuming. He's doing he's that fuming. little. He's like. He's like. <laughs> he's like let me back in. Either way, folks, we will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye-bye. Yeah.